It's happened to us once before in 1999, but this year, once again, we captured four 3M National Teaching Fellowships to bring our grand total to 38, still the highest in the nation. We were talking last period, and what we're going to continue to talk about is free energy calculations. I teach uh, first and second year chemistry, um, so concepts that hopefully students will see will relate to other areas of science. I want students to be thinking and relating to what we're talking about to their own lives, but also to the research life. And in a research intensive university like this, it's really great the things you can point to, the people working on fuel cells that the students have heard about, people working on carbon sequestration. Every time I look at the subject material, it's fresh to me. I see new insights. And I hope that some of that freshness comes across when I'm lecturing. When you're thinking about infections, think about viruses, bacteria, parasites, fungi. I teach actually all levels of learners in medicine, but the biggest, I'd say the biggest chunk of teaching that I do is in first year medical school. And I run a block um, called Infection, Immunity and Inflammation. And within that block, I teach bacteriology. What I try to do is um, simplify my message, take creative risks. Strip pharyngitis. Different ways for you to remember things. So it can be visual, it can be auditory, it can be even using the, the sense of smell. Um, there's a lot of stories that I like to tell just to engage people. So it's just a way instead of transmitting information, which I don't, that's not my approach. It's more inspiring people to learn more about my topic. I teach in the Master of Library and Information Studies um, program at the School of Library and Information Studies. We're in the Faculty of Education. It's really a collision of human rights and librarianship um, and social justice. So we're looking at issues like copyright, access to information, access to government information, censorship, corporate sponsorship, uh, challenges to materials in our libraries in Canada and elsewhere. So I try to keep it really real and make it connected to what's going on in the world so as they're in the program and leaving the program there is not a disconnect between their education and public life. Oh, thank goodness. Did you guys see him blink? That was a successful conditioning of the eye blink reflex. So David? You're probably not going to have Alzheimer's in a few years. I teach psychology <laughs> in the Faculty of Arts. I'm blessed with being able to teach Science 100 in the Faculty of Science, and I teach um, uh, courses on research in the human-animal bond for the Faculty of Ailes. You know, I was humbled. I was very happy for the University of Alberta because it shows that we're not just a research-intensive university. We're a teaching and research-intensive university, and the integration of teaching and research is is really what we should be about. And training our undergraduate students to think like, like researchers, to be creative like artists, that's what we're all about. So it's really great to be at this university because we receive these supports. We have fabulous students, we have fabulous colleagues, we have fabulous opportunities.